Smells meaty. Yes, but what kind of meat? And there's cheese and layers of... It's crunchy. Huh. No, wait, it's smushy. It's crunchy and smushy. What's crunchy and smushy? Peanut butter or badly mixed cement? We've got meat, cheese, peanut butter, or badly mixed cement. Oh, for God's sake, just eat it. I'll tell you what, I'll dive in first. Mom always made me taste her food before she'd eat a bite. Hmm, delicious. And it could be peanut butter. Oh yeah, cool. I really appreciate your inviting me to dinner. It was pretty harrowing out there. Who is this? Kirk, your car broke down at the end of the driveway. It's lucky for me I'm a very loud crier. If your maid hadn't heard my sobs, I don't even want to think what would have happened. You probably would have run out of Kleenex. It's nice we can joke about it now. Thanks for letting me stash some boxes here, Grandma. Where are you going to live? I'll get my own place again, eventually. Yeah, but for now, she's Jack Kerouac. She's on the roading it, past the peyote. But after you pass the peyote, what bathroom will you use to throw up in? Well, I have many options. Paris lets me stay at her place when I'm in New York, or I can stay with Mom or Lane or you. So you're homeless? I am not homeless. But you don't live any place. Just for now. And you're okay with this vagabond existence she's leading? Like, like a groupie? I wish she was a groupie. I'd get better tickets to stuff. Luke, buddy! Hey, everybody. Emily. Careful. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. No, I'll do that. Oh, sure. Uh, thanks for coming, hon. Yes. Saved us all a very expensive cab ride. Are you all leaving now? We all just sat down to dinner. Oh, no, please. Just eat. Um, no rush. I can just... Uh... Up, 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 up. So... This really is delicious. Oh, thank you. You don't like it? What? Oh. Uh... Very good. Isn't it? I could eat here every night. Luke. Mm, yes. What do you think about Rory's living situation? Um. Her traipsing around from one couch to another like she's Lewin Davis. Oh, it's fine. Well, I mean, you know, she's grown and she's. Uh, did you read her New Yorker piece that she wrote? I put it on the menu. Why is everyone treating this like it's a normal rite of passage? Rory is a 32-year-old college-educated woman with no permanent address. That's not normal. Um, can I be excused? They're playing soccer out there, and they seem to be short a man. Go. Hi, I'm Kirk. Over here. Explain to me again who that person is. Oh, that I could. Grandma, I really don't want you to worry about me. I know exactly what I'm doing. I'm busier than I've ever been. I'm traveling, I'm pursuing a goal, and I don't have to store my stuff here if it's gonna make you worry. Of course you can leave your things here. That's not what I meant. There's a chair now. Oh, sure. Goal! <laughs> Call me from London. Luke? Yes. That was just my way of saying goodbye. Oh, goodbye. Good night, Mom. Kirk, we're leaving. Talk tomorrow. Yep. Kirk, now!